Before the break, we found out that Michael has 16 kids, has been married five times, and was a sex addict. His soon-to-be ex-wife, Monique, is considering rekindling their relationship. Did you discover that uh, Michael has fake Facebook pages? Yes, very, like, almost immediately after we got married. And me, I'm a detective, and it's, I found the fake Facebook page. And that, what did you find? It was just all women on there, um, women yes. who were friends. And um, is this while he's a pastor? Right, and married. Uh. Wow! <laughs> I believe he has a, a um, virtual fantasy sex addiction. It's more like visual, online, websites. Wasn't one of these sites he was on like black men and like white older women or something? I found that, I did discover it. <laughs> no, no, That's it was. That's a website? Um, That's a website. I found it on one of his fake <laughs> Facebook pages. <laughs> I'm it not was making this. Go on, swear, girl. Go on, swear. What is it up? Like it was white black women, men black that like men. white older women or something. Dot com. Dot com. Um, said white women that. Or white yeah. women that love black yeah, men. Yeah. It sounds like some of Michael's behaviors actually made your self-esteem worse. You came they into did. the relationship with self-esteem problems, and then his behaviors have actually made it worse. And I want to say something to you guys. As a clinical psychologist, there is no proof that sex addiction is the same thing as substance addiction, as gaming addiction, as gambling addiction. We just don't have the research for it. And my fear is that people who say they have sex addiction are just running away from responsibility. These are yep. your choices, Michael. I feel well, like that's an excuse. You still agree, Dr. Judy. I will. Agree. I will say this, responsibility, I do not run away from this responsibility. I just want you to understand something. Pastors are human beings as well. We fail, we fall, and we become the hierarchy because you put us on a pedestal this high. But when you have to know, when you stand in front of folks yeah. and That's you tell them about the Lord and sinning, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I That's think you're going to be on a high pedestal. What is but one of the major commandments? Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. You're lie. Lie. Yeah. Thou shalt not lie. You're, what, absolutely, what? you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. But, but you all... So you don't believe pastors should be put up on that high of a pedestal? No, I believe pastors are human beings and they make mistakes. There's okay. not a pastor out but, there but that has But wait a minute, Michael. You, you can't have, have it both ways. No, I, know that you I wasn't were... trying to have it both yes, ways Yes, you were. Okay. Yeah, no, you really, were. I wasn't. Yeah, you were. We, we learned that you weren't just a pastor. You were a pimp at one point. I was. So, talking about putting on a pedestal, what was the time period in between your pimping and your pastoring? No, I was not a pastor during that era. None of that has entered into our lives. Now, the thing about it is the sites that I was on, the things that she saw was groups that I joined, but I never interacted with any of those groups. I, were, I was looking at women, plain and simple. I did not do anything, contact anybody. I looked at women, and I'm not going to lie about that.